Okay. No questions. Uh, guess everybody's ready to go. <sighs> Good luck, everyone. I don't know where this rally is now, but no matter what this does, I'm not getting off it. No reason to even watch two things today. You can watch BAC on your own if you feel like it. And actually, when I first rated this, it didn't quite hit the mark initially. But I knew it was going to work. And then, then it got better. So. That's the scoop. <clears throat> I think my clock is actually fast now. My phone is, so it's 928 and this is 929. Here's a little quote. This is a quote from Buddha. All that we are is a result of what we have thought. That's a good one. <clears throat> Dream target on this today is 32. I actually didn't write that in the room, but. And this is on its own, meaning market, even if it rallies today, which I think it does, this is still fine. Good luck, everyone. Uh, I hope the stop is less than 40 cents. That's all I can say about that. I don't know. I'm figuring 40. It might be more than that. I hope not. See if this rallies. No matter what it does, I'm doing it. Oh, I just saw a big spread there. Did not want to see that. Okay, as of now, if we do this, which it did not trigger yet, so I don't have any entry point. Stop is going to be 30. I have no entry. I have no entry yet in this. So I can't tell you what the entry is, but the stop is going to be 30. 99 by 30. 99 by 30 BBY. 99 by 30 BBY. And don't take it till it hits. If this flips, we'll wait and see what it does. No, you gotta wait. Okay, wait. 15, let's see if it holds 50. Okay, it's going to be 99 by 99 by 45. 99 by 45. 99 by 45. Here, let's take it right now. BBY, 45. Get the stop in right there. 45. Get the stop in. There. There. <laughs> going to hit under 35. I took it before, but I saw I was going to do it. Here, this is valid. Stops 45. Uh, do, do, do. Let me just make sure here. Just don't want to put it here. This is it. You got to be in. You got to be in. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Excellent. All right. I am going to, we have to watch. None of the numbers I have down here or make any sense until 3420. But you could scalp some of this out in here, actually, if you feel like it.
Woo, that just had a big drop. I didn't get any out of there. Uh, let me just look at something here. I'm actually going to put the stop uh, and this. I'm going to move it and give it a little bit more room. I'm going to give it five more pennies, which I don't really need to do, but I'm going to give it 50. Okay, I just moved the stop and this to 35.50. That just had a big drop. Like, I didn't even realize how much it was because it just happened so fast. But you could have taken some out if you wanted to. It just dropped 30 cents in there. <laughs> but I'm staying with what I have here. So, But you could have, like, scalped, like, quickly, quickly some out. I just moved the stop to 35.50, and I don't have another entry here yet. But it's probably going to give one. So relax. And, and I mean... You had time to do it. You had so much time to do it, it's not even funny. I know. Oh, you wanted to take some out. Yeah, well, just relax. I know, I know, I know. I, I barely saw it, and then it was like a flash in my P&L. So let's just relax here. Here. Um, let's just determine. For those of you, well, I think everyone got it. Everyone got it, right? Everyone did get it. You just, some of you wanted to get out, you didn't get out. Everyone did get the trade, though. You're in it, correct? Here it goes. You could take more under 90. Here, you could take more right here under 90 if you want to take more, but I'm just going to leave what I have. Nice entry here I had. Beautiful entry. Here it goes. Under the low, 72. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Hold on. All right, let us get out of some of this, though, into the next drop, shall we? And that's what it did. Um, oh gosh, I just know this is going to... The target on this is 33. It's 33. It's 33. What can I say? Let's see if we can stay in the, as much as we can till 34. It's 33 today. This is going to 33 today. 100% conviction, and here's a new low in this, under 72. Beautiful call I made. Man, did we need this, people? We deserve this today. Whoop! Here it goes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Man, time of the day is what? 56. I'm going to try to hold this. Ah! There! I just took the whole thing. I just got the whole thing out. I took it all out. I just took it all out. I just saw my P&L, took the whole thing out. Do whatever you want to do. I just took the whole thing out. That happened so fast. I didn't plan on doing that, but I did. I just saw it and I took it. I barely, I did it before I even said it. I'm sorry. Here, you can still be in it. <laughs> ah, that was probably the first time I reacted before I even got to speak. It was... <laughs> Actually, you could still be in this. This is probably going another dollar. I just saw the money and I took the whole thing. <laughs> this is still going though. I don't even think it matters. I just tried to do it. <laughs> this will give another entry, though. <laughs> All right. I, I don't know if I'm going to get back into it. That was a total reaction from seeing the money, and I took it, and then I said it. I'm sorry, but if you're still in it here, you can take it all out right here. It doesn't even matter. This is still going. It's a beautiful trade. Man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, boy, we totally 100% deserve this. Yeah. All right, I'm out though. But here, look, it's trying to go again. Woo! All right, let me just see what the market's doing. <laughs> uh, let the market do whatever it has to do. <laughs> boy, that was fun. Let's do it again. Um, I don't know if this is going to give another setup or not. Phew. Pays to wait. It does. Yes, it does. You started today risking more, Braulio. You entered BBY with you and got out the moment you said. Exciting morning. Great call. You're welcome. A uh, beautiful move. Um, basically... Under 33.78, I did say the first target was 33.25, 33. So what you could do, uh, actually, what you could do, you can just put the stop back at break even if you're still in some of this. 
absolutely do not let any of this go against you negative now if you still have any of it. I mean, just don't even let that happen. But this could drop another dollar. It could drop another two. I think it'll give another setup before it goes to 32 if it's going to do that today. I think it gives another setup before it goes to 33. Oh, gosh. Really tough to take another trade, though, after what I just made in that. I, I think I'm not going to, but, I mean, I'm, I'll call it for everybody here. I, I think I just, that was just perfect. That was absolutely perfect. And once you're, here, here, this is going to set up again. Right in here if you want to do this again. 20, 20 by 55. 20 by 55. Give me why I'm not doing this. But here it goes, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. I'm not doing this. I just decided I wasn't. And this is not a perfect, perfect. Look at this. Look at this go. Look at it. Woo! Nice selling action in BBY today. I had a perfect entry and a perfect exit, and I'm not doing anything else. But here it goes. Trying to break the low. Under 78. And actually, if this does not break the low right in here, I would take half out, but it's still going to. This is tremendous. Tremendous selling action in this today. I mean, absolutely tremendous. Okay. Didn't break the low yet, though. Touched on the same number. Careful. Still good though. Is anyone still who's in what? Who's in what? Who's in what of this? Of anybody? Anything? Probably did get out when I screamed to. I actually got out before I said it, but it was just one. I just, you know, sometimes things happen so fast. Usually I'm such a fast talker, but that was like instantaneous. Like that was actually like a reaction that actually was real because of the fact that it just had that. Dollar some drop, dollar forty drop, dollar thirty drop, or whatever from our entry. I mean, it's just, you just uh, waiting for the next push down to get out. Stevie P says Phillips in the whole thing. All right, is anyone else in the whole thing? <clears throat> Trader gal is saying Philip, you need to take some out. I agree with her, but the reality is that if you're still in it, just be careful. I don't want anyone to let this trail against them. That was just tremendous there. One third remaining. Oh my gosh, Ed is the whole thing too? Let's take a look at the daily chart. You're going to have to be patient if you have the whole thing. <clears throat> okay, because that move was tremendous. And we're getting into the next reversal time. Remember, things don't drop in a straight line forever. But this really could go to 32 today. I just think it has another setup if it does. Let's look at the market. Market coming in. But I don't think this lasts. I think it holds somewhere in here. The question is where. Could be 200 in the SPY, the next support level. Uh, 150, which we're almost getting into in the QQQs. So we'll have to see. -E -E. Oh, BAC even worked. I didn't even call this. Here, here's a kamikaze. BAC shorter right now with a stop at 52. 10 cents and BAC to get it down if the market's falling in the next reversal time. Down to 15.25. We're scalping this. If you want to stop 52 BAC, I'm not doing it. I am not doing this. Okay, but you could have done this already. Rallied up, held, held the resistance. Did it hold the resistance, I said? Absolutely. This actually set up perfect. Did anyone do this? You might not have. The trade I called and did was a better trade, but this actually worked, and this actually worked perfect. We will review this when we're done. This did exactly everything right, perfectly, with the numbers. Look at that. Wow. I am so good at figuring this stuff out and even the numbers. Here. And I even took this before it triggered. You know that I almost took this in the open, but... That would have been nuts. Boy, what a great two days of profit. 1865 for the last two days. Surf Dog, awesome. Going to be a great year for you. Absolutely. Absolutely, Surf Dog. You finally got your discipline under control. You're doing everything right. Good job, Surf Dog. Let's give Surf Dog a hand. He's come so far, so far in such a short time. That's fantastic. Maybe it's all due to your new girlfriend. <laughs> Didn't you say your girlfriend was a therapist? Here, you can do this, BBY, BBY, under 34, you could already be in it. Stop is 55, 55, 
55 for BBY. If you want to do this big stop in here, if you're not already in, it's going to try to break one more low. Here it goes. Some of you are already in it, and I put this stop at break even because I would not let this trail against you after the drop that it had. He did JPM. <laughs> Which is the only thing I called yesterday, unless you went long the market aggressively. And here this goes. This is your exit. For those of you that still have the whole thing, you're going to have to take some of this now into the next drop. Do not let this uh, not get away from you here, okay? Those of you that are still in this whole thing, which I am not, this is it. It's going to try to go down to 33.25. You could have an order out to fill you there at 33. Time of the day is 9.43. It will break 78, but, you know, I, this is your exit here. The low is 33.78. Here it goes. Here it goes right now. Time of the day is good. Girlfriend's having a good influence in surf dogs. Certainly helps having positive relationships. Market's going to try to hold in here at 9.45. Market definitely has to hold by 10. That's 15 minutes away, and the market's falling for 15 minutes straight, and basically... Uh, I really, really, really think that the market has to hold like now before 10 o'clock, but 10 o'clock is the dead on time or we'll just be red today, which is very unusual. All right, here we go. No, we didn't break the low yet. Look at that. 15 minute bar is going to close soon in this. BBY great call took 20 cents in five seconds. Patrick, you missed the home run, though. You're trouble logging in. I'm sorry to hear that. But I, I took this here before it even triggered. This dropped in here. It was $1.22. And actually, got, I got it before it hit under. I got it before it hit 35 because I knew it was going to. I knew it was going to. It was aggressive, though. Aggressive. Here it goes. Here you go. Everybody, BBY, new low and three pennies. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. This is it right here. There it did. It just broke it. Take this trade all the way down. I'm not in this anymore. I just did a perfect trade this morning. I'm leaving it be. But I just called another ad you could have done in there or, or, or taken a new trade. And here this goes. 33 will get there today. 32 is realistic. Go, go, go. Those of you that have the whole thing, you must get out of some of this into the next drop before it pushes back. And I would actually take the whole thing. If you manage to hold this whole thing down in here, great job. Don't hedge your bets. Market could hold in here any second. Glad to be glad to be here. It only took two years. I know, Patrick. I was just talking about people like you yesterday. How people have taken the class and never traded, then call me up a year later. You're one of them. Here, here this goes. Thirty three fifty. Ed is out. Ed is out now. He's had enough, and it's that was a huge trade. Here this goes. Nine forty six. It's going to try to break 60, and if it can do that, it'll break 50, and it should go to the next number. So you could put the stop. <sighs> you could put the stop at 33.85. Stevie P got all out at 71. You people are funny. You held this so much longer, and you just got out now. It didn't show any green in the one minute chart. At least wait till it shows a green guy. You people are funny. Look, look at this. I could have taken half size and reshorted that in there, but. I wasn't sure how much it would rally first before it broke again, but this isn't rallying at all. This isn't rallying at all. It's going to break 50. Is anyone still in it at all? You've got any of this here, now you're getting the whole trade. You're getting the entire trade here. It will break 33.50. Here it goes. Let's watch it. WW still in half. WW used to love longs. I have no idea why. You should be loving shorts after this day. Cruiser still has a third. 
Lawrence, you mean you didn't get out? Lawrence, if you're still in this here, it doesn't even matter. If you're still in it, if you are still in the trade, are you still in the trade, Lawrence? Okay. Well, I, you know, this is a chance you take. Here, we'll go over it in a minute. We'll go over the whole trade and everything in a minute. We're not doing anything else today. But I will tell you this, you could actually, actually, for really, uh, trade this all day. <clears throat> you could do this all day. Like, if you're in this here now, you could get all out. But you could wait and reshort BBY in a 15 minute today. Now, I'm not going to do that. Here this goes. It's, it's going to break 15. Oh, no, it didn't, but I thought it was going to. It's still going to. All right, is, is anyone in any of this at all? Uh, Cruiser, are you still in a third? It, this is like so really hard here to try to wait for this break, but I still think it does it. Here, it's going to do it right now. It's it's tough. It's tough to do this one. This is moving very fast, but this is going to break. There it did. It just did it. Told you. Right to 33. You know, we, we, we actually talked about this yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. We, we did. We talked about this yesterday. Look how fast this is moving. Hey, whoa. Man, look at this. This is beautiful. Look at that. And no one's, I don't think anyone is in the whole thing anymore, but look at it. It's going to 33. This is institutional selling, by the way. This is what it looks like. Well, let's get here. Is anyone, in, let's go over it. Let's go over the trade. Let me just quick look at the market. Market's got a hold by 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's just, market's got a hold by 10 o'clock. 33.25, it just broke it. It's going, here, this is it. This is it. This is the exit right now. This is the exit on this. If you did the morning trade, I'd be out of the whole thing. This is a fantastic. And this is fantastic. Fantastic. This is the exit. Ooh, I just saw an invisible tick up. Oh my gosh, get a one more push down. It get a one more push down. I just saw an invisible tick. Did everybody just see that? It happened really flat, fast, like a flash. Did everyone just see the invisible tick that happened up in BBY? Yeah. <laughs> this might not be done then. Well, I did. I think this makes one more push now that I just saw that. Incredible. W. Demi said, well done, Melissa. Stevie D just took BAC. Did you not get this, Stevie D? We have a Steve P and a Steve D. That's interesting. <laughs> no, this is it. This is the exit for now. All right, let's go over it. First of all, I had all the numbers in the room, and they changed. Oh, my gosh. Stephen D, would you please email me, and I will email you today about that. That's insane. Uh, <laughs> this is why you wait for the good ones, okay? Great trade. You're flat? Okay, quizzer. This is why you wait for the good ones. I didn't do anything yesterday. I feel like I hardly traded this week because I didn't hardly. And the, basically, the thing is that this is why you have to wait for the good ones, and it's always about it. If you, if there were 20 trading days in a month and you traded every one of them and you had losses on days that you really just were chomping at the bit and did stuff you shouldn't do, your confidence, it takes it, it kind of stabs into your confidence and your conviction, not just in your trading, but in yourself and in gaps. So you just go with the knowledge, go with what you know, and it tells you when it's good or not. So you're better off just doing nothing on days there's nothing to do. Now, I took this before it triggered, and the reason I did that, which was very, very gutsy and risky, is because of the fact that I just loved it, which I talked about this morning. And I said NCOF. Gerard isn't here, but I said NCOF this morning. 
I'm just not wrong when I say that. I'm just like never wrong when I say that. And I actually could have said that about five last week, but I didn't. But in my mind, it was thinking that and it took a while to break. Would some of you have held that wait, waiting for the break that was late in that if I had said that? I don't know. A lot of you do trust me a lot, but it was the same thing about five last week, really. You're going to head out. I don't think you can do another trade in this right now, Lawrence. I think that you could on the 15 minute. If you want to go have breakfast, take the kids to school, come back and look at this around 11 o'clock, you could. No, it didn't stop me out, Patrick. We waited. I'll tell you this in a minute. And for those of you that got a bad fill today, did anyone get a bad fill in the entry? No one should have. Stephen D. didn't have it, but he has to change brokers. This is not a function, I don't think, today if you didn't get a good fill in this based on your exit because the stock was traveling very fast. And as you, that's why I hit out of it before I could even say the words. And I don't think I've ever done that before. But this is one of these things where actually it's a jerk reaction because of the fact that it moved in more than a dollar in this bar. So if you didn't get a good fill today, I think this is one of these instances where it's nothing to do with a broker. I think it was just, it was literally, this was with, this was less than a second. This, this is less than a second of time that exists from the time that you would get out of this with a good exit. So the reality is that, you know, sometimes people get bad fills because their brokers are not good and they need to change. But in reference to this today, you saw how this was trading. I mean, you saw it. Now, this is starting to settle down here. Even when this action was happening here, even this action here, all of this action here, it was the level two was going at lightning speed. And so the reality is that, you know, this is just, you just go with it. No one should, everyone, everyone still got a dollar in this, no matter where you got hedged out of this. And some of you got way more. And actually, the low in here, I think, was 33.17. And I said 33.20. I actually said 33.20. I said 33.25, 33.20. It did. It got to that target. And this, I still think, could go to 33 today or break it. But I'm not certain now. It depends what it does. I think if your day is in, your day is in. I, I got out and never reentered. Dave got a great fill at 35, surprisingly. JPM was good, but it reversed first. So I'll look at that. It took, took it in the one minute, a little too aggressively in retrospect, but he liked it a lot. Got stopped out on the next minute. Oh, you took it on the first minute, Cruiser? Took my trade and still had a comma day. Yeah. Everyone in here should have had a comma day. Does anyone in here not have a comma day today? Man, you people. I have the best trading room in the world. Does anyone here not have a comma day today? Philip did not have a comma day. How much did you take of that? Brett's saying the first time he told you this, but I think you got out too soon. <laughs> no, we didn't, Brett, because that move was too jimungus, and you're hedging your bets. Do I care that I didn't get another 60 cents out of this? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not at all. Because you know what? If I really wanted to redo this, I could have redone it here. And I could have redone it here even half size. And if I really want to redo this, I could even sit here all day and trade it on the 15 minute. So don't, don't regret not holding this down. This is... The right thing to do, okay? That is the right thing to do. And at the time, I wasn't looking at the market. So, you know. You didn't take enough for that. You didn't take enough for a comma day. Dave said it's only the second trade of the year with me. That's fine. Four hundred forty-four shares. I thought you held it longer than me, Philip. For those of you that held it all the way down, you almost got two dollars. So I don't. That one I don't understand. No, actually, got a better one than Dave. Scroll up. I redid it. Uh, you didn't break your rules today, Dave. Scroll up. Here, let me just look and see if this is doing something. No, you got to wait here now. 
I know you log out to prevent over trading when you don't see anything good. That's fine, Dave. You can keep doing that if that's what you need to do so you don't get sucked into something that's fine. Some days you miss discussions or lectures or teaching, but that's your call. If you find that you're more disciplined doing that, that's up to you. But scroll up. I did change that early uh, after the fact. Uh, there was something else I was going to say. Now I forget. I don't remember. Anyways, all right, let's go over the trade. A lot of comments here. So basically, uh, there was no entry here. I thought it was going to hit. It didn't. I said, wait. And if you, if I, I thought about taking it here, if I had, I wasn't going to put the stop over the high. Cruiser took it here. You know where I would have put it? Over the resistance. So I thought about doing this and putting it over the resistance. Do you know that if I had, I would have stayed in the trade? But the I actually would have had a same entry or a little bit better than what I did here, actually. So I think my entry, actually, my price was slightly better. But that's because I took it before it hit. Anyways, drop broke, fell. Do you kill this here? Are you worried? Are you sweating a bullet? No. No, you're not. Although, to be honest with you, this flip in here is not exactly ideal. Anyways, dropped and broke, and I screamed, I think. But in any event, <laughs> this was fantastic. And to have this happen, actually the whole thing happened yeah, in 60 seconds. So Then this happened here, and I felt it would break the low. It did. You got one more push into, guess what, 945-ish, basically. Now it's rallying up. And I said, be careful here because the market could hold. And also the fact that the time of the day and the sell-off it's had. That's what selling action looks like. If we had that every day in that capacity, it would be a dream life. A dream life. A dream life. But we do have selling action on any given day, but it's usually not like that. And I knew it. I mean, I just knew it. I knew it this morning before it happened. I knew it this morning in the open. I knew it this morning when I rated the gap, and the gap rated 19, and I still knew it was going to work. And it did. Read your message. Hold on. Let me go back. I have to scroll up. I did several times. Did I? Um, I screamed. You were going to take 2,000 shares, but the stop was too big. You adjusted the risk to $300. You should have listened to it. Can't fail. I space out, and you should. You spaced out, and you should have took the 2,000 shares. It wouldn't be your biggest trade since being in your room. Interesting. Well, you spaced out. The time to space out is not what I'm talking in the morning. Whether I talk for five minutes or ten minutes or eight minutes or 35 minutes, Listen to everything I say before I before I start to trade. So the reality is that the time to space out is not when I'm speaking in the morning. <clears throat> I can't even believe I'm saying this, but you could short this right here. You could short this right here with a stop at 34.10. It's 30 cents, BBBY, to try to get it down for one more drop. It could break the low right here. This is very aggressive, but it's holding the whole number. It rallied back. Time of the day is 10 o'clock, and this is still actually very weak. If this fails here, it probably is done for the day, though. I will say that. And if this setup goes and works and continues down and breaks the low, this actually could drop another dollar or more. So if you want to do this, you could. Stop has to be 34.10 uh, with a cushion. You could wait for the full-on... Uh, 20 pair moving average to squish on top of the two minute here if you want. But I think if this flips now in the 15, this is probably done. I'm listening to somebody outside my apartment door in the hallway lecture about a dog training. I think they're training a dog. They have these dog walkers and dog trainers. It's, they're, they're training the dog in the hallway. I can hear it's right outside my apartment. <laughs> and they probably heard me scream too because I've been hearing them talk now for like, I don't know how long. No, it's not a sell in the 15 minute yet. And it won't be until probably 10.15 now. It just booped over the five. It won't be to probably about 10.15 now. Hey, if you want a good day, 
whether you had a comma day or a non-comma day, everyone should have made three hours or more today. So the bottom line is your goal is in for the day. So if you made three hours or more today, which absolutely everyone should have, no matter how much size you take, there's no reason to do anything else. But the reality is if you did have a comma day and you want to risk a little bit more, you could. Oh, you can actually hear the people screaming out in the hall. You can, you can hear them too. The lady yelling about the dog. Boy, my microphone's really good. You're welcome, Lawrence. I'm the only one in the world that lives in New York that doesn't have a dog. You might be back in for now, but for now you're going to head out. Yes, yes, it was a good day. All right, great. Congratulations, Lawrence. Roberta said, had a great day, but not going to risk more. Thought about it, though. Yeah. Thought about it myself here. But I think the one to re-go back into is here because of the second drop-off into 10. And, and he could have done it. And I, and I called it, and it held. I mean, look how nicely this held. Uh, and it wasn't a bad stop. It was like 30 some cents, actually. It was, this, this was 30 cents. This was 30 cents and one a dollar. This trade here was three hours. Let's take a look at this. This drop in here was more than three hours. It was four something. This drop in here was more than three hours. Look at that. This was a fantastic trade. If you held the whole thing down, you should be up more than six hours. But I don't know if anybody did that except for like one person. You spaced out on what I said it can't fail, but your risk would have been $900 if it would have failed. You're saying if it, you're saying that if you had done this, oh, yeah, with the 2,000 shares, you would have been risking $900. Yes, yes, it would have. Well, if, is that your R? See, I mean, this is what it has to do with, you know, this is what my concern is. If you risk more on some of these ones, you know, then your, your, your results are not similar. I don't think that's important for anyone. I think it's important for everyone here to know what the results are, unless you've been here for a while and you're really, really good and, and it doesn't really matter anymore. But for those of you that are still new and are just getting in a groove and doing very well and surf talk, you're one of those people, you're doing well now. I wouldn't bet the farm on anything because if you have one bad day, it may affect your confidence. You're being disciplined and it's, that's not a bad thing to do. On a gap sheet that rates over 20, what do you think is your risk knowing you and your goals? Brett, knowing you and the way that you trade, if you're going to continue to scalp, I think you should be able to risk $200 a trade if you're going to scalp out of it quick. I think you have, you'd have to make more money. But the problem is, what do you really want to do? Do you really want to start to trade more like me and hold for a little bit longer? Or do you want to continue scalping? If you want to continue scalping, I'd say bump up your risk. If you want to trade more like me, then, you know, you could still bump up your risk. But I think you got to get the habit of holding a little bit more. So what is more important to you? Do you want to try to hold these a little bit more and practice with the current size you're taking? Or do you want to bump up your risk and start to scalp like you've been? And you're just going to get some more money going here. So that's up to you. And this isn't a scalp trade by any means. This is just a trade. This is like a real trade. And it's earning season now. And finally, it feels like it. If you don't want to do scalps, I'd say 150. 150 and do a normal trade. Take half out in the first drop. Put the stop back where it should be. And let the rest ride down to the target. And be all out by 10 o'clock. Boom. That's your trading plan, Brett. Write it down. Or you could put the stop at break even if you're really going to sweat a bullet, but I wouldn't advise that. Uh, that is doubling or take one R and a scalp and one R and a hold. Yes, exactly. We talked about that yesterday when we reviewed the TIFF. And I forgot to tape the webinar I did last night. I have enough online anyways, but we talked about that with the TIFF, how you could have played that. You could have played that, been out into the first R and the first drop, and then you could have actually reinvested that money or just reinvesting that money back into the same stock and the same gap to get it down to a bigger move. You didn't really have time to do that today. I would never have stayed, took this trade to get it down to 32. If you would take this trade again, you'd be all out here. So if you retake this again, you're looking to get this down to 32. And you would be taking this in a higher time frame and you'd have a bigger stop, I'm sure, but it would still be worth it because this is now above 34 and the move will be $2 plus if it goes there. 
Kathleen for the vet. Have a great day. Thanks for the great call. You're welcome, Roberta. Good luck with the cats. Uh, Yeah, this is going to go again. I'm telling you right now, this is going to go again. This is going to go again. If you want to be in this again, you can take it and put the stop at 55. It's 50, it's 60 cents from here if you want to do it. This could be it. But, you know, this is going to go again. You could short this in here with a stop. I put it at 55, though. And does this look good still? Uh, okay, Diane was talking about the market. What about the market? Market is not holding here today yet. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It sold off here in the morning for the first 30 minutes. I said the market has to hold by 10 o'clock. Time of the day is what? Oop, this is just, like, this has to be the low of the day in the market. It is holding. It is It is actually holding here now by 10, by 10, the time that I said it had to hold, and it is holding. Uh, but this has to hold, like, now here all day, basically, and it is early. It is very, very early, six more hours left in the trading day. The market would have to hold, rally, base, 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 and hold in here, close with the bottom and tail with a red body, or flip over the high to hold. This market has to hold here now in here, and this was a tough area of resistance, I guess, for this market to get up above and through. I did say don't expect this to push over this like a crazy person in one day. It could be a series of days. We did gap up this morning. That is real. And we did. So the reality is that we fell here, though, into the morning, and we had to hold by 10, and we did. Qs look weaker than the SPY out of the gate, but I still think it's not going to matter. The market should hold in here. It's coming into the support. Shorts are still trying to push this market down, but I, they're not really winning out. If you look at this chart, you can see how, how strong it still is. It is absolutely still so strong. Did that help BBY today drop like it did? No. No, it didn't. And BBY would have worked today no matter what the market did, and I said that. And those are the kind of gaps that we need and we will need in this particular market. So, what a good eye I had in this today to see this here, to know to do it. There were other things to look at. There wasn't a lot. You might have not thought this was as good, though, except for the fact that it did have some problems. And actually, this is me telling you no chance of failure in this today. Uh, it rated well per the system, but for me to say something like that, this was not a 26-point a rated gap or 25. The reality is that I have an excellent, excellent, excellent eye. I have an excellent eye, and I know how to read something. And I, when I watch a trade, and I watched this, and I was watching the gap, and here it goes. Here it goes again. Here this is. You can be in this. You can be in this right now. Lawrence, I don't know if you want to do this or not. Are you still here? Nope, he signed out. Stop is 30, 30. No, nope, you got to put it at 34, 55. You really have to put it at 34, 55. But you could have done it back in there in the 90s. Cruiser took it again. Let's look at BAC. Did BAC might have gone to the target. No, it didn't. I did not. But this acted perfectly here. Set up, fell. This is a snail of all snails. Fell, fell, and snaily, snaily. You would have got out here, though. You would have had to get out of some of this here, though, based on everything. And the entry actually was good. 62 by 72, 10 cents. Drop down in here, you would have made two R's. You would have made two R's in there. I think this should have continued down in here when I said this is a kamikaze and nobody did it, but you. You actually could have, this should have gone right in here and continued down into 10 and it didn't. And when that didn't happen, this is probably done. And I don't know if this gets over the high of the day. It really depends on the market. But this didn't get the full-on rating. It did rate well enough to watch, though. And it did have a trade in it. This had a good trade in it considering the fastness of the move here and considering the rating. Ed said he made too much money to take it in. I feel the same way. You don't want to be a pig. Pigs get slaughtered. Remember that? Wall Street movie, here it goes, though. Ooh, incredible. Fantastic. It's going to it's gonna break 33. Did anyone just do it? I'm not, I'm not doing it again. You got 50 cents in a small ad in BBY on a second trade you're talking about? You just do this again, or what are you talking about here? You just do this again, trader gal? Cruiser took it again.
it, it did. It, this just dropped more than 50 cents just from there where I called it. Now it's going. This is it. WW took it again. Fall off the planet. Here it goes. This has popped up on everyone's scanners at 10 o'clock that didn't watch us today and doesn't have a gap rating system and they're not in love with this. This is on every scanner in the planet now. Everyone's like, woo, BBY. And it's coming up everywhere. Where is it? There it is, the top of the list. So this is, you know, this is going to get playing in here now today. And I said that. Okay, you got out of half at 33.50. Reed took it at 34, took half out at 3350, letting the rest drop. Chunk it out. You chunk it out. That's what you're doing. But I feel the same way as Ed. I cannot possibly take another trade in this. And I've learned from experience that if I do something perfect, perfect entry, perfect days at perfect gap, then I just let it be. But here this goes. It's going to break 3350. Time of the day is 1015. This is it. This is done for the day now. Won't set up right in the 15 minute with a rally. So here this is. This is the trade. This is BBB will be done for the day by 11 o'clock. And I have no idea where it goes, but this will be the whole shebang. <sighs> Any questions? We could go back to bed, or we could go to the gym. makes up for not trading the last two days. All right, let's look at uh, let's look at what's up tonight. Let's look at the econ for tomorrow first. Oh my goodness, tomorrow's Friday. By the way, the rim is closed on Monday. The market's closed. I didn't even know that. I looked it up and saw it yesterday. So tomorrow we trade. Monday we are off. Look at the password sometime over the weekend, back in here then on Tuesday. Tomorrow morning, two reports at 8.30, 9.15, 9.15, 9.55, 4 o'clock tomorrow, which I will not be trading by then. Uh, one report out at 10.30 here soon, today. Let's look at tonight's. All right, let's see what these are tonight. We're just going to do the exact same thing tomorrow. We're not going to do anything if there's nothing good, and we're going to do something if there is something good. This. Might be one. This is tonight. Some of these are too thin. Okay, so far the only thing I like is INTC. Three watches tonight, and actually INTC doesn't look that bad. Uh, hold on one second, Trader Gal. You know, I just realized something. Hold on. I just realized something. We played a swoosh today. I just realized that. <laughs> I just realized that no one said it. So this is this is valid for continuation, which I did tell you anyways, but I just realized that now. It just dawned on me. Uh, 49. 49, you can put a stop at 34.25 if you want. 
3349, stop 3425 tight on BBY if you want in the 15 minute. But if you already did this on my call back up like 50 cents ago, you're already in it. I just realized that we played a swoosh today. That is not normal, but the break in there was it. And hallelujah. I mean, you know, I just, just realized it. Man, was this perfect. And that's why the second drop in here was a dollar as well. And it's continuing. Very unusual. But you see it all. You're going to get a laptop for trading when you're out of town on an extended visit. Does anybody in the room train a laptop? I don't know. Does anyone in the room train a laptop? She's wondering how do you trade and watch my screen at the same time if you trade on the laptop. I'm not sure anyone here trades on a laptop. Philip said he has done it in the past. I don't think he does it every day. When you did, how did you train based on watching the room? and also having the platform. Which did you look at, Philip? Tony's saying he's done it before. He doesn't watch the room, he listens, only listens to it. So Philip is saying to you, trader gal, he listens. He doesn't watch the room then, he watches his platform. So, well, you'll hear me no matter what, whether you watch the room or don't watch the room, you'll obviously have sound and you'll hear me. So you'll hear me either way. I think it's up to how comfortable you are. If you're comfortable, Philip's saying just put the room in the background. Uh, George H. is saying have a laptop with a docking station that has another screen attached. I think she doesn't want to do that, though, because she's talking about going on vacation. I think she means not for permanent. I'm guessing. This is for just vacation, right, Trader Gal? It's not ideal. I mean, it's not ideal. The time I had to do it, I mean, it's not ideal for me. It's not ideal. It's not ideal for me. It's not ideal for anyone. It's not. It's just not ideal. Uh, but, you know... Really, to be honest with you, you just need to be looking at charts. Whether you're looking at your charts or my charts, I don't think it matters, but you need to be looking at your charts. So you'll hear me. If you feel more comfortable looking at your charts than my charts, then look at your charts and just listen to me. If you like my charts better than your charts, then watch my charts, listen to me, and you don't, you won't see what you're doing. But you'll see the price of what's happening, so you'll know because you'll know when you got in it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I thought you meant when you're away from home, the desktop is. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I was going to say. I don't think so. Does anyone have any questions about anything at all? Anything whatsoever in the world that they want to talk about? Uh, if not, I'm going to let everybody go today. Okay, Cruiser. Everyone had a great day. Some people had their first comma days today. Some people... Uh, Wish they would have risked more, but that's a good problem to have. Uh, that's a good problem to have, actually. Okay? This is going to be a good year. I told you that. I told you that. I know it's off to a slow start, and that's life. Just getting back into things, back into the holiday, but I did tell you it was going to be a good year. And earning season is here. Welcome. Finally feels like it today. And if you did JPM yesterday, it actually broke 56 and went all the way to 55.50 or something. You know, but... It's like you, this kind of thing here today. This is the thing that we do. This is the thing that I love, and this is why I love trading gaps. If I had a day like this every day, it would be my dream life. JPM continued and went to a bigger target because it had the market with it yesterday. Otherwise, I don't think that would have gone as big as it did, and the market is holding. So, market is holding. Good call I made here today in the market. Good call I made here in BBY. We'll look for something good tomorrow, and I don't know if we're going to get it or not. I have no clue, but I know if we don't, then we're not doing anything. And I know if we do, then we'll hit it, and we'll just go right after it. Specifically now, because tomorrow will be our last trading day till Tuesday. So just 
Gotta do the right thing. Look at how this market's getting bought. Look at how the, this is buying, 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 buying. Look at the beautiful buying coming into the market here. This is where the directional bias is, and this is where you want to be. Look at the market holding here and have the beautiful buying. Look at the push. Lovely. Rella says, yes, it will be an amazing year. Thank you, Melissa. Have a wonderful day. You're welcome. Trader go say probably a quiet market pre-holiday. I think tomorrow would be good. Tuesday might be slow. I'm concerned about Tuesday being slow. In fact, let me just look and see what is up on Tuesday. Because Tuesday is really going to be like Monday. No, there's actually 20 million earnings out on the 20th in the morning. So because it's earnings season, we'll have we will have good 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 ones to do here. We'll have a lot. All right, so that that makes me feel better. I don't think tomorrow will be slow. I think tomorrow we'll have something, but it's going to be a quick trade, just like always. Look, this is we're almost we have more than 50% retrace the drop we had out from this morning. Look at that, and that's what I'm talking about, people. And I know what the I know what things need to do. And as long as they do it, you can do it. It's about knowing what to do. I said the market has to hold today by 10 o'clock. It has to hold today by 10 o'clock. If the market does not hold today by 10 o'clock, it's going to keep falling and fall and break the low for the previous day. The market has to hold today by 10 o'clock, and it came in and held at 10 o'clock. And now it is more than 50% retraced the drop off that it had from the morning. So the market could actually completely flip and reverse 100% from the drop off it had today. And what did I say about BBY? And what do I say about everything? What do I say about these ones when I look at them and see them? I know exactly what they have to do. And if it does it, then you do it. You just have to know what to do. And if it doesn't, if you do it. And if you don't know what to do, that's why you learn from. Me. And that's why you're here. Uh, INTC is out tonight. That's the only one I like if it gaps down. I don't know if it's going to. I have no idea what the earnings are going to say. This will continue in here now. It's fine. It's not doing anything wrong. You have some people that are exiting here because they're getting concerned because the market's rallying and the time of the day is late. But now I just told you that it swooshed. I didn't realize that when we were in it. Not that it would have mattered. But the fact is that this should continue down. And I really have a high level of conviction that this is has a huge possibility of breaking 33 today. I'm not going to retake it. You look at something, you do it, you do it perfectly. If you keep chomping at the bit, it's just not good energy. I can't even say anything about this at all, at all, until I see what it clear how it closes today. I don't, I don't know what this does tomorrow or the next day or the next day after that. I don't know what this does right now until I actually see how it closes today. After that, I'll look at it. The options paid big on BBY, 50 cents. Low to $3 is a high awesome. Okie doke. This was an unexpected report. This was not scheduled. So, you know, uh, this came out of the sky. But we got lucky with this today in the sense that there wasn't anything else I liked. We, we, may, we might not have traded today if we didn't have this. We wouldn't have. I wouldn't have done anything else. If we didn't have this today, we would have done nothing. Because I don't think I would have done BAC. I might have called it. And if you had done it, you probably would have made 20 cents on it. But I wouldn't have done it. I wasn't going to do that. Oh, you want to look at JPM really quick? You wish you traded JPM again today? Why? Why? Oh, this moved a dollar. Well, you're shorting this. I mean, you're shorting this on something that looks like this. Again, what are you doing here? You know, this actually did gap down. It did gap down from the close of yesterday, but this this is not ideal. I mean, this is this is not ideal here today, and that is why they said this rally. And then this is even less ideal here because you're shorting this on a daily chart that doesn't look amazing. I don't think this breaks the low of the day. You're just saying that because of the size of the stop there. The size of the stop was small based on the move. You would have had to know the exact numbers for everything to do this, which I could have figured out, but I didn't because I was doing the other one. 
which was better. But you, you would have had to, in order to do this, you would have had to know the exact number. Let, let me just look. There it is. Would you have done that on your own without me telling you? And you know, this is not easy. So I see it. I see it right there. I see what it did. The big ones move sometimes so often and you miss them on the second day. I don't think it's often. I think it's sometimes. It seems like it lately because the market has had some red days in it. And then the ones have the follow through. That's why. Tiff, Sandisk. We've seen that on some of those. But there are ones that do, even regular days where the market's rallying. That's absolutely true. But your entry has got to be spot on in the, in the second day. And it's not exactly the same. You cannot exactly play it the same with aggression. It's just not exactly the same. So you really have to get it right. If you don't, you'll be hit out, and then it'll reset up or go into work without you. And actually, nothing looks right in the 15 minute and the 5 minute with this. But this did have a setup there this morning. I see what it did. I think this is harder for you to get the entries in these, to know the numbers that they need to hold for the resistance and the targets on the second day. You also have to be more patient. Which... All right, BBY is poised to keep going lower. Good luck, everybody who's in this. If you're in, still some of this into here to see where it goes. I hope you get it down. Good job, everyone, today. Congratulations. Fabulous day. Great job. All right, we'll see if we can get it again tomorrow. You're welcome. Have a good day, everyone. Have a fantastic day. It is 1030 in the morning. You have the whole day to yourself. You just had a fantastic trade. What could be better in your life? Many thanks again, Melissa. You're welcome, WW. All right. If you need anything, email me. Otherwise, I'll see everybody back in here tomorrow morning. We'll have a nice, solid day. Patrick, great first day. I'm sorry you missed the one in the morning, though. I don't know what happened. You've got to figure it out to get in here in time. You're welcome, Surf Dog. Good job. You're doing everything right. Marry that girl. <laughs> Cruiser says, great day. See you tomorrow. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>